Hey Boldies, it's your girl Naya and welcome back to another video. Okay, there's been multiple things going on and also, if y'all didn't know, Drake now has a collaboration with Lotto who also has beef with Nicki Minaj. Now, for those of you who don't know what happened between Nicki Minaj and Lotto, let's break it down. So, Nicki voiced her concerns about Super Freaky Girl last year and about it being moved from the rap category to the pop category in 2023. Now, deeming it unfair, Nicki Minaj, who had, despite countless hit singles and albums and 10 nominations. Now, in the video, Nicki Minaj mentions Drake's song Hotline Bling winning Best Rap Song in 2017. Say, let's say that, let's say that Super Freaky Girl is a pop song. Let's just say that, right? What is big energy? If Super Freaky Girl is a pop song, what song is big energy? What genre is big energy? So I'm just going I'm just going to explain this to you. Yes, thank you. They stay moving the goalpost when it comes to me because in order for them to uplift the people who they want to shine, the people who these corporate giants, you know, can can make um, the money off of the people who control things, a lot of things behind the scene. They have to elevate someone that they profit off. So they must move the goalpost for me. And of course, Drake is a black man, so they did say it was a rap song, even though Drake said himself that the song was and Lotto's song, Big Energy, has also been eligible in the rap category. Now, while Nicki did mention names like Doja Cat, Harry Styles, Post Malone, and Adele, she did continue back to Lotto, both by name and also in ways that Lotto has perceived as subliminal. And child, the drama was real after that, okay? Lotto and Nicki Minaj went head for head on Twitter okay they were going back and forth it was from leaked phone calls to just everything okay also i don't know if y'all saw but there were also leaked text messages between lotto and Nicki minaj before she even leaked the call before they even got on the phone there were leaked text messages i mean when Nicki minaj was saying i don't argue i don't go back and forth with text okay you can call me because yeah call me and you know what's crazy Nicki minaj said that she knew that lotto would record the part because if i got a call on if i got a call from Nicki minaj I'm, i don't know if i'm gonna record it but everybody will know about it <laughs> but anywho let's get back to jersey drake as i like to call him champagne poppy and his collab with lotto fans are saying that Nicki minaj has showed drake mad love and loyalty in this shady industry and is always standing up and you know what the only time that drake recently had you know love for Nicki is when he came to perform at her pink friday gag city tour but i feel like he only did that because he was in heat with kendrick he only wants to use Nicki when it's convenient for him and Nicki is still loyal to him even though Drake shows her countless times that he is not loyal and Nikki's always telling us, oh, leave Drake alone. I don't want to leave Drake. I don't. And of course, Drake is out here collaborating with Nicki Minaj's rivals and people think it's super unfair that Nicki keeps showing him love, which I do too. You, sh Nicki should not have to keep showing him love if he's not giving her the same energy back. She deserves to be treated the same way that she tre treats Drake. Now, but he doesn't, of course, he doesn't have this much. It shows he does not treat Nicki the same way and Nicki is just too nice to him and you know sometimes you just gotta let people go and also fans did point out when drake drops a project Nicki minaj always shows him. do you think that drake shows love to Nicki as much as she shows love to him when she drops a project no every time Nicki says something i do go to drake's page and he doesn't say anything he barely did he even i don't even know if he said anything about pink friday too probably not because i feel like i would know i feel like i would would remember because that's like, kind of like a big thing he never mentions her ever and also it's also alleged that drake did give nikki a hard time when trying to get him on the pink friday 2 album and she had to beg him to be on it despite giving him numerous hit songs over the years okay Nicki minaj and drake let's only no frauds moment for life drake has not given nikki a song like that nikki's giving these things to drake drake isn't giving her anything now i know we all miss Drakey, but i miss Drakey where drake actually showed love to nikki and that was really only back then now personally 
personally, I think that Drake wanted Nicki. You know, he wanted her. Just how he be shading Rihanna. You know how he treats Rihanna. I feel like he's doing the same thing to Nicki, but Nicki Minaj still wants that brother and sister relationship. But Drake probably wanted more from her, and that's why he treats her that way. You know how these Scorpio men are. They can't get you. <laughs> they ain't gonna like you. But here's what fans have had to say about Drake and Lyle collaborating. Nicki held Drake down and didn't switch up on him like everyone did during the Kendrick beef just for him to collab with Lotto. Another person said, Nicki went from asking Drake to write a verse for her album on a radio interview to accepting a scrap song with then he didn't do not one promo or acknowledge the collab. In my opinion, he only showed up to her tour because all the heat was on him. When will Nicki wake up? And that's what I said. I think that he only showed up for her because there was so much going on. And you know, I feel like everyone's noticing that. And let's not forget, Drake did bring Cardi B on stage and Drake follows Cardi B on Instagram. Drake went off. Someone else said, why would Drake collaborate with Lotto, especially when Nicki is the only person in his corner right now? It's not like it's gonna be successful either. <laughs> Clock that, cause it's not. <laughs> Child, but anyways, Bodies, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Do y'all think that Drake should have some loyalty to Nicki or is it just business? Let me know what y'all think down in the comments.